You're treating me like a black person. Like a flipping black person. So you probably seen this video surfacing around the internet, the interwebs. And you're like, yo, why did the video go viral? Like, what's this, the significance of that statement? Uh, why are people like, you know, getting so upset or talking about that video, right? Well, in this video, I'm gonna get, I'm, I'm gonna go into all the nitty gritty details that that simple statement and simple video reveals about you know society in general, United States, about racism. But yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so welcome back to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, because in every single video, I aim to not only entertain you, but to also educate you. So you, you be seeing like a lot of like interesting videos, but the people be talking so boring. Like, yo, I want to listen to you, but I can't listen to you because you're so boring. Or you also see like entertaining videos, but they're extremely mindless. You're like, yo, I feel like I lost brain cells watching this video. But here, in this channel, and provide you edutainment. It's the best of both worlds, pretty much, right? Education, entertainment, edutainment. You feel me? <laughs> but anyways, y'all, uh, the topic of the video, right? So essentially what happened was this man in Florida was being arrested or, and resisting arrest pretty much, right? But let me give y'all the video so y'all can watch that real quick. They're really the escalating. Hey, don't be right? I'm not. Do not hurt me. Do not hurt me. Do you understand? Do not be rough with me. Look at them. They're, look at them. They're gonna beat me up. Don't beat me up, you mother. Don't beat me up. Look at them. Oh my god, I can't believe they're doing this. Oh my god. Hey, hey, look what they're doing. Oh, get to the other side. I'm not listening. I swear to be rough with me. You treat me like a So as y'all can see, the man was being arrested and in a way resisting arrest um, from the police so as they were tackling him pretty much, right? And the, the main part of the whole video was the fact that he said, you're treating me like a black person. My question to you is, my question to him and other people too is, did you get tased? Did you get shot? Did you get beaten? No. So essentially, they did not treat you like a black person. Because any black, typical black person that's resisting arrest the way that he was, something would have came out. A punch would have would have been struck. A tase, a taser would have been applied, or in some cases, a gun would have been pulled out. That's why black people especially are so like unnerved when they get pulled over by a cop or whatever. I have been stopped by the police uh, about four times in the last 60 days. A total of five times I've been uh, pulled over. Probably more than, than 20 times. It's more times than I care to remember. You never know what's gonna be the outcome of a traffic stop if you're a, a black man. Because like, although black people aren't necessarily more inclined to commit murders, they, as, as statistics show, they are more inclined to get arrested and be put in prison for various crimes that other people of other ethnicities commit. So what the, what the phrase pretty much shows is that people know that black lives matter. People know the, the issues that the whole BLM movement is trying to portray but they wanted to fled from the actual situation. Cause no one said blue lives don't matter. Okay, we know police lives matter. We know Caucasian lives matter. We know Asian lives matter. We know Latin lives matter. But videos that we constantly see of people getting shot or arrested or beaten by police officers are proportionally black people. Not white people, not as much as Latino people, not as much as Asian people. It's proportionally black people, right? So that's the issue that we're trying to address. We're not, black, it's not saying only black lives matter. 
It's like going to the, the uh, your doctor. You have an issue in your knee, right? But the doctor's telling, oh, but you also have, but you also have a, a smaller issue in your ankle. Which one do you want to fix first? The major issue that's bothering you the most before you fix the smaller issue that's not as uh, significant. You keep telling the doctor, oh, you know, I need to fix my knee. Fix my knee first. This is what's hurting me the most. But the doctor keeps saying, oh, well, no, 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 let's, let's fix your ankle. I know your ankle isn't hurting you as much, but let's fix your ankle first. Let's fix your ankle first. When obviously the knee, and, and according to other medical, typical medical professions, they would say fix the knee first, right? As an example, right? So there's a major issue that you need to address, but you keep directing it to a different issue, is what I'm trying to say, right? So people love to pretend like uh, color doesn't matter. Um, oh, that This whole, uh, I don't see color thing. Okay. Race is like often like a pretty obvious thing to observe. It's not like racist to notice. Zach, oh um, my goodness. I only see one race. Ugh. The human race. Such bullshit. You're only telling yourself that so you don't have to think about racism or confront your own prejudices. No. Bro, you see color. You understand color. Don't say you don't see color. Rather say, yo, I see color. I recognize color, but I don't allow it to affect how I treat people. That's what you should be saying. Not, I don't see color or color doesn't exist. Bro, don't kill me with that color doesn't exist. If color doesn't exist, then slavery would slavery would have never happened. Okay, don't hit me with that. And obviously, not every time does color play a factor into how police officers treat people. But we've seen enough videos and we've experienced enough situations overall beyond police brutality that show that color does affect how people are treated. Okay, so it's not every situation, I acknowledge that, but a good amount, a, a good enough amounts from my personal experience, from experiences I see on social media, from real life experiences that I view on video and photo, that it does play a factor in how people are treated. Whether that is job interviews with the black people, some people, some, some black people giving their daughters and sons typically white kappa names, like, I don't know, Amy or Tracy or whatever. Is there a D nice? Do you mean Denise? Son of a bitch! You say your name right, right now. Denise? You say it right. Denise. Correctly. Denise. Right. Denise. Right. D nice. That's better. <sighs> Thank you. Right? Just so that they can even get an interview in the first place. Rather than being declined simply because of their name, such as Dequan or Marcus or stuff like that. So that is also a real life thing. So what the statement, you're treating me like a black person, reveals is that police, police brutality is happening a disproportionate amount of times to black people than it is to any other type of race. Because you would, why would you say, okay, imagine me saying you're treating me like a white person. What is it, just, see, just the fact that I said that, what is that give, giving you in your mind? Is, was, was these, <laughs> is police brutality coming into your mind when I say you're treating me like a black, like a white person? Is being abused, being punched, is, is being tased coming to your mind? You're treating me like a white person? It's more like a situation like, like the Dylan Roof guy who shot up a church. And I think, I, from, correct me if I'm wrong, but I recall like after they had arrested him, they went and got him some food. My <laughs> you're treating me like a white person. You're, oh no, we're sorry, sorry. You're assuming I'm innocent. You're assuming I'm in the right place at the right time. You're assuming I'm not a criminal. And you're assuming I'm wanting to be treated nicely. Imagine me saying you're treating me like a white person. Like what, bro, are you, are you dumb? Are you <laughs> messed up? <laughs> and what the, what, what the statement also reveals is that you don't really care that it has, you don't really care about the situation because it's not happening to you or people that you know as often or, or at all for that matter, right? If you white folks want to be treated the way blacks are in this society, stand. That says very plainly that you know what's happening. You know you don't want it for you. I want to know why you're so willing to accept it or to allow it to happen for others. So, yeah, I understand. I understand. Like, even me, imagine, let's say, Racism was reversed, right? And black people had enslaved white people. 
I feel comfortable, like it's just human nature. If you feel comfortable in your situation, you feel comfortable being at an advantage than other people. But it's like, why would I want to go through the whole effort of changing all this stuff? Like, I feel comfortable and being treated nicely. Like, why, why do, why do I want to go through the extra mile of making things right? I, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. Like, what's the point? Like, I, I'm as long as it's not affecting me, I should, I shouldn't care. But this is the part about minding your business, right? I talked about it in another video. But minding your business doesn't doesn't mean you don't care about anything that's not happening to you. Minding your business means that as long as it's not affecting you, anybody you know, or other people in a negative manner, then you should be minding your, you should not be minding your business. So if, if, so let's say people nobody is being hurt in a situation or nobody's being harmed, you shouldn't really care. But the people you know people around you and other people are being negatively impacted by a situation you are not necessarily required to but it would definitely be, be helpful if you didn't mind your business imagine a drunken person being in, a, in an area where a lot of kids are you would most parents around that area would tell the person to leave or go somewhere else because they don't want their children to be influenced by that negative thing so in that sense you don't want other humans, because we're humans, right? Human. You want other humans to be imp impacted negatively by what's going on. So it should be a part of your business. You should care for your you know, fellow human being, pretty much what I'm saying. So again, I understand it's not all white people and you're like, and people who aren't black who are watching this, specifically white people, Caucasian people, you're like, oh, that's not all white people. That's not me. I don't treat black people like that or I don't approve of that things, right? I would never call the police on black people for selling water. This woman don't want to let a little girl sell some water. She calling the police on an eight year old little girl. You can hide all you want. The whole world gonna see you, boo. Yeah, and um, illegally selling water without a permit? Yeah. On my property. It's not your property. You're for <laughs> barbecuing or whatever, all the other viral stuff you've seen this summer so far. But what I want you to do, I need y'all to do, is during your family gatherings, Thanksgiving, Easter, Christmas break, whatever it is, and you hear, because like, obviously people are, are, it's happening. So some people are definitely impacting the situation. So what I'm gonna need y'all to do, is anytime you hear somebody in your family or another white person speaking or saying or doing something like that, to call them out. Because that's how things change. You don't call them out you just let it pass then that's how things continue to fester and fall and go on like people in Charlottesville like when the whole thing was going on it was not all like old old white people or old old Caucasian people there were young people in there too right so obviously the ideologies and mindsets got passed down from one generation to the next so call out your your homies call out Billy call out Bob I know I'm just putting, I'm not just putting say typical white names, but you know what you know what I mean, right? But anyways, y'all, uh, <laughs> make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Like the video, Millie Rock and I like button, that button, that subscribe button is much appreciated. God bless. Please enjoy. Namaste. And if it doesn't feed you, don't water it. It is what it be. <laughs> but. Lighty, looking like a wifey I press the blue button and I follow that I ain't gonna lie, she a 10-10 But she ain't too peng for a follow back And she living